Coming up in this video, I'm going to be showing you how and when to use the Nissi range of medium edge graduated ND filters to create results like this. Run the intro. Our location for this video is Lake Mugara in the scenic rim area west of the Gold Coast and Brisbane in Queensland. The entire scenic rim has plenty of photo opportunities with a number of waterfalls, lakes and rivers. Specifically where we are, this is normally quite a recreational boating area, but with a lack of rain, the lake has dried quite significantly to reveal this dry cracked mud that we are going to be using in our images. Now the purpose of this filter is to darken one portion of the image, in most cases the sky, to balance your exposure during high contrast times of day, like sunrise or sunset. With a dark portion of the filter at the top and the clear portion at the bottom, it's essentially extending the dynamic range of the camera to get more detail into a single image. There are a number of different types of graduated ND filters though and the main difference between them is the definition of the horizon line across the middle. Because there is a line in the middle of the filter, the medium edge variation is great because it has a slight fall off while still being relatively well defined. It is great for situations like where we are today with a small mountain protruding above the horizon line and we can line that up with the small fade off of graduation when we take our shots. Now in contrast, if we were to use a soft edge graduated filter, this would have too much of a fall off and not darken the sky enough. The other option is a hard edge graduated ND, but would leave a very sharp defined line across the horizon, which would look out of place with no fall off. Out of every graduated filter, this would probably be the main one I use personally and what I recommend for people if you're looking to get into graduated filters to start with and this may be your first option. Now as the sun has started to set, we've taken a few images already, but I'm going to quickly run through the easiest way to use this filter. Now with the writing facing away from the camera, slide the filter in so it fits securely. Once it's in, you can adjust the height level by sliding it up or down in the filter holder. Or on different angles if you are using the V6 or the Nissi switch filter holder. I find the best way to do this is to use the live view function of your camera to find the composition you want, then adjust the filter to suit the dynamic range and the sky of the scene you're in. You can see with my composition set, I can adjust where the filter sits to make sure it's covering the sky to bring the highlights down, and then I'm going to adjust where the graduation line is sitting in the overall composition. So it creates a natural and seamless blend within the image. The first photograph has no graduated filter on and is shot to suit conditions. As we look at the second image now with the medium edge grad filter attached, you can see an instant difference in how much detail has been captured in both the foreground and the highlights in the sky. Because we have a dark foreground subject as well, this helps to give a great example of what can be done with the addition of a single filter. I hope you've learned something from this video and discovered more of how and when to use the Nissi Medium Edge Graduated ND Filter. A little bit of a mouthful. If you're looking at getting one of these filters for yourself in Australia or New Zealand, check out the links in the description down below. If you have got value from the video, hit that like button and leave a comment. It really helps the channel to grow. And while you're here, check out the entire Nissi Filters How and When to Use playlist for more just like this.